guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I'm gonna go over iOS 11.3 beta because I actually installed it on my personal daily driver iPhone 10, and I'm going to be talking about iOS 11.3 beta getting the throttling kill switch in February. So uh, if we scroll down just a bit here, following a report that the United States government is investigating Apple's power management function that slows down some older iPhone models, Apple issued a statement on late Tuesday confirming that it has received questions from some, some government agencies and is responding to them. So I guess that's good. Um, this whole ordeal is kind of getting a little overblown at this point. It's not that big of a deal. Fuck you, Apple, for not telling us about this in iOS 10.2.1 that you're throttling our phones. But overall, whatever, there's like 50 class action lawsuits going on right now. It's crazy. But regardless, uh, in the statement, Apple also confirmed the timing of its promised power management toggle, allowing customers with an iPhone 6 through an iPhone 7 Plus to disable the function. It will be rolling out in a future version of iOS 11.3 beta uh, in February. So if you want my honest opinion, I think it might be next beta, which is going to be probably February 6th, if you know how Apple works. So if you want to get in on it, go for it. The public beta uh, is available as well. The software update will be publicly released later this spring, so to everyone. So we're thinking mid to late March. Uh, that's my guess there. So here's Apple's full statement. We don't really need to go over that, but I think you guys get the point here. If you have an iPhone 6 or iPhone 7 Plus and you're tired of it, or you think you're getting throttled a lot and you're tired of it, you guys can turn it off if you upgrade to this beta. Um, do I recommend it uh, on your daily driver? Not necessarily. However, I have not really had any major issues, so I'm not not recommending it, if that makes sense. So most people say, oh, don't install this on your daily driver. Uh, if you want to, go for it. Um, I haven't had any major crashes, like I'm saying. Uh, it's overall been pretty smooth and actually feels a little faster in some cases than iOS 11.2.5 because they've increased some of the gestures. If you have an iPhone 10, like swiping up from the bottom to get to your uh, app switcher and stuff is actually a little bit faster. So overall, it's a pretty good update. Uh, I definitely recommend it. And like I said, public beta is open right now. And I think we might be getting this uh, uh, throttling kill switch in February, probably possibly February 6th, next Tuesday. So we'll have to see on that. I will keep you guys updated with all the Apple news and rumors and more. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you guys get notified every time I drop a new video. Hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.